welcome to my youtube channel it is me again ally yonder with ally thank you guys thank you guys um i just want to say hello gorgeous hello handsome to all my new subscribers um i am y'all literally y'all are helping me reach my goal so quicker than i thought i would um so like i always say i never really promote myself so y'all make sure y'all like subscribe comment if you want to but please like like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this or you can follow me on my ig and y'all know with ally as well um and let's just get straight into it y'all so y'all i'm doing something way different today i'm not gonna say what it is so basically y'all i there are two reasons why you click this video I titled this video for a reason. If I'm screaming, I'm so sorry. There are two distinct reasons on why you click this video, okay? Number one, you're currently in college, okay? And you're probably like, bro, why am I in this degree? Or two, you're about to go to college or about to go to grad school or do something. If you're already going to grad school, you already have an idea, but you're about to go to college or you know, you're, you're pretty much a freshman, however old you are, you're about to go to college, and you're about to pick your degree. You're really about to be firm in your degree for these next four to five, six years, okay? So, I'm going to help you guys dissolve any confusion you have about mechanical engineering, okay? Let's clap it up. Great, because I'm here to help, okay? So, I'm going to break this down into two types of main points. There's going to be two points, but it's going to have all, it's going to have several factors in each one, but there's going to be two points. The first point is going to be undergrad and the second point is going to be postgrad. Now I'm going to provide some tips, some bonus tips, some little help here and there with each and every one. So I'm going to go ahead into my first point, undergrad. So in undergrad, one thing you need to be careful about, and I'm pretty sure y'all that are watching the video, any future Emmys or any like Emmys actual that are actually graduating or anything like that, you will understand my point. Please be careful, okay? Because if you're not great at math, it's gonna kick your it's gonna kick your booty, okay? And if you are great at math, it might still kick your butt, okay? Because one may it's gonna be one math that's gonna be in every single thing you do. And it's called calculus, okay? The big C. It's called calculus. It's gonna be in physics. It's gonna be in um vibrations. It's it's always some form of calculus that's in some part of some part of your upper engineering classes. You can never escape it. You can't escape it. So you better become friends with it now. So you so it doesn't whoop your behind later, okay? So calculus is gonna be your number one, your number one enemy. Okay, it's gonna be your number one enemy. All right. So let's go ahead and just go into the prospects pretty much because before picking any degree, before picking anything and anything that you do, always look at plans in your life, okay? If it's going to be going to school for fashion designing, you need to be looking at the prospects for that. But this video ain't about fashion design. It's about mechanical engineering. So within mechanical engineering, there are many, many different things you can do with this degree. You can become... Uh, nah, well, actually you can, but you can become a lot of things. And I'm going to start out real simple. I'm a mechanical engineer, okay? I'm a mechanical designer. You can do a mechanical designer. Um, there's also called drafters. You can become, you can become aerospace engineer, work for Lockheed or like a def you work for some defense company. Um, you could like, you can build government contract vehicles, aircrafts, whatever may be, whatever may be for that. You can become an automotive engineer. Um, you can work in the automotive in industry, like, Toyota, um, I'm about to say Camry, <laughs> Kia, um, you know, stuff like that. Lexus, you can work in the automotive in industry, Tesla, whatever you want to do. Um, you can also do manufacturing engineering, which does go into automotive engineering, but it's more like a, a another aspect. You, it can go, it can go into anything. Um, you can also become a petroleum engineer, a nuclear engineer. Um, let me see what I wrote down. You can also enter the biomedical um, scope as well. There is a lot of possibilities you can do with this because choosing the mechanical engineering degree, I feel like in my personal opinion, because I feel like when I say I feel like and I say personal opinion, it's literally the same thing. But in my personal opinion, you 
you are better off maybe in this degree if you really didn't know what you want to do you have more free range with your career path you're not stuck in one specific sector with mechanical engineering you can do cars you can do aircraft you can do buildings like construction you can do um simple stuff that's like building medical devices you could do a lot with this degree so you're not necessarily stuck now when you start doing biomedical engineering you start to put yourself in the box of mainly the medical like sector of everything and i'm not gonna say it's hard but you may put yourself more in a box you never want to put yourself in a box when picking your degree okay all right y'all i am done with the prospects and little stuff i was talking about let's get into meat and bones of this um video and let's talk about the courses you're going to be taking so i have my old um flow chart that i have in front of me i went to different college but most of them have because every single college has the same thing they have to do it's because if you're going to become a mechanical engineering whatever you do you have to go to a college that is um a bet um that is ooh accredited board of engineering and technology i believe ooh i'll put it there i'll put it there basically and basically that's that's the only way your mechanical engineering degree is valid you don't want to go anywhere okay you got to go to a bet school okay so i'm pretty sure with a bet schools everybody has the same curriculum but they name it different they have it put in different years they do everything different okay so i'm going to just generalize what i've done and kind of give it to you guys here and i'm going to make sure to list everything over here however i feel okay so let's go ahead and start off with i broke it down in different ways i'm just going to start out with the most simplest thing of putting it okay you have the college i went to you have your gen ed courses and you have your engineer okay y'all the thing is acting up already on us y'all i might get myself a camera i don't know because this iphone storage is terrible anyways guys so let's go ahead and get into the main part of the video the main part of the video is the courses how in the heck do you become a mechanical engineer i'm here to help okay so every college is going to have their own way of doing it but there's going to be general courses okay you have your gen ed that's number one that's like english um science and humanity you know like those classes like world literature those classes then you have your engineering standing courses i don't know if every college does this because i haven't went to every college but my college had engineering standing courses and that can be like chemistry calculus matlab you got to pass certain classes in order to get to your next to get in order to get to your other your other engineering courses your uppers or your meds or whatever um then you have your engineering courses okay so some general ones that you may see across every college is going to be you're going to have to take all calculus um you're going to, have to take calculus one calculus two and calculus three there is a calculus four but you do not have to take calculus four okay i was happy when i, I when i found that out I'm, i hope you're happy you don't have to take calculus four um you are going to, have to take like um computer-aided engineering courses or computer-aided design um drafting courses so that's like matlab engineering graphics um cae um and then i'm looking as i'm talking and also you're going to have to do um yeah cae matlab engineering graphics so courses like that now when you start to do um minors like a, a design minor or a biomedical minor you may do advanced classes of those courses of those of those um beginner courses um so main ones and the other main ones you're going to see as well thermodynamics statics dynamics um heat transfer machine dynamics um uh, manufacturing engineering strength and materials um uh, machine design um did i say dynamic systems and control theory that goes to vibrations as well you're also going to be seeing um product realization fluid mechanics so you're going to be seeing some of these courses and it it's going to be hard it's going to be hard but when you start to build up on your major it becomes easier and like i said towards the end of your degree whatever minor you pick whatever other path you pick depending on your college um that can be th those technical electives are subjective so it could be another chemistry class it could be this it depends on your college but um i believe you you are gonna have to take 
senior design one and senior design two all all across i do believe that's the thing or some may some colleges may make you do um senior design one okay um now moving forward when you are graduating from these courses you aren't technically a mechanical engineer now there's a whole backstory to why why all this happens okay but you are not technically a mechanical engineer so you may get a job and it may say mechanical engineer but sometimes those jobs may require you to take this exam in order to become a uh, a certified mechanical engineer if i'm gonna put it that way so you have an f e exam okay you have an fe exam and the fe exam is pretty much the fundamentals of engineering exam okay so once you take that and once you pass it and i'm gonna give you a little key because a little tip i i found this out through a friend if you take it around april and may when all the other college students are taking it you may have a higher chance of passing okay don't tell don't tell nobody i didn't tell you okay don't tell nobody i told you whatever it may be i'm uploading a video but anyways basically um once you pass this exam once you pass this exam you are you are a certified engineer in training and from there you will take the professional um engineer exam pe exam and then from there you're able to stamp drawings um sign off things because you're eligible you're certified you have the knowledge to know these systems to know that this will not fail to know if this does fail you're signing off on it you you have the capacity to do that basically so however you do not have to take that in order to you know become an engineer you are you are an engineer you're just not an engineer that can sign off on stuff you get what i mean so you don't have to actually take the fe and the pe however my big suggestion is you have the knowledge you're smart you can do it you can i would suggest taking it literally the month you graduate okay not a lot of colleges require you to take it but please take it if your college does not require you take it just because you have the knowledge you can do it you never know how you surprise yourself i'm currently in the process of studying for it so i'm trying my best right now but i'm suggest i'm telling you take it as soon as possible because you never know you might just pass okay and if you don't pass it's okay all right y'all so tips on wanted to drop was pretty much um sorry because the videos keep cutting off but some tips i wanted to drop was this degree is mechanical engineering it's not it may not take you four years or three and a half like your peers in college who's doing business or these other degrees it's not going to take you three and a half years four years it might take you four and a half to six okay but i need that i need this to be understood it is okay for your degree to take that long okay but don't give up on it at year five you need to finish okay but it's going to take a long time but don't feel bad about it and if you get it done in four years that is good but everything's not a race it's your life you need to move slow this is a serious degree and if you go fast you may not know nothing when you get into the job field okay so take your time but some other steps i did want to provide for my undergrad or people who's going to college please go to professor hours go to study halls like via organizations or host it yourself um also go to tutor sessions or si sessions very very important you build relationships you build networking relationships especially in the future and then also take the time to learn the material i don't know how hard or how much i can say that but it really does come in handy when you're on the job or when you're doing this like i thought i was dumb seriously y'all i thought i was dumb i was like bro i just got a degree but then when i sat up here and really was like at work and i really started like connecting stuff together with like thermodynamics heat transfer when it comes to, like refrigerant systems y'all it all connects like so literally take your time to learn the material it's very very important and then what's the plan for after graduating okay you could take the fe exam you could go get a job or you could go get your master's degree i suggest getting your master's degree if you always want to do something specific you could get it back in mechanical engineering it doesn't hurt anybody but it's a lot of sectors you can go into when, you, when getting your master's degree you can do mechanical engineering you can do biomedical engineering you can do um civil engineering i heard people do that you could do um nuclear engineering aerial aerial space engineering 
uh, petroleum engineering. You could do all of that. So literally it's possible. So if you want to go get your master's degree in any of those things, you have a mechanical engineering degree, it is very, very possible. You can even go on to get your doctorate or your PhD and become a professor in academia, or you can just, you know, be at a manufacturing company. You all right, y'all. So I hope, I hope, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys appreciate this advice. And if you want more advice like this or more videos like this in my college series, um, just subscribe and I promise there'll be more. Um, let me know what videos you want to hear more about college. Um, I was pretty boring in college. I literally just graduated, but I, I may have stories, may have not. I mean, I don't know. But if you like more videos like this, please subscribe, comment, let me know. Um, also, if you are in ME or you're in college about to become in ME, comment below and let me know what you think about this video and what else I could have included is really nice. I would really appreciate that. And then also, if you have any, you want to look at any more of my college series stuff, I'll put some videos right here, especially if you want to boost your semester or if you want to just, how is post-grad really like, okay? Um, I'm six to eight months deep, so there you go. Pretty much, thank you guys. Thank you guys for coming out. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I love you guys. This is a lot. This means a lot. I hope you guys really appreciate this video. Like I always say, never settle. Always be set. I will see you guys next time. And hopefully next time, y'all, I will have a better hairdo. Okay? I'll see you guys next time. Peace.